First, there is Digidog, sniffing out danger. Then there is the GPS Dart, tracking cars driven by people up to no good. And you might run into this roundish robot, keeping an eye on places like Times Square. We want the public to know that the use of these technologies will be transparent, consistent, and always done in collaboration with the people that we serve. The NYPD showcasing three new tools that will be rolled out in the coming months. Pilot programs, the department says, linking cops with new technology, especially during extreme situations. In hostage negotiations, counterterrorism incidents, and other situations as needed. Digidog was originally launched during the de Blasio administration, but the program was suspended. Civil rights activists said it was an example of over-aggressive policing. Today, Mayor Adams barked back at those complaints. Digidog is out of the pound. Digidog is now part of the toolkit that we are using. Similar robots have been used in places like airports and college campuses, cameras and two-way communications, connecting police with people who need help. The GPS Dart, already in use, launched in some cases at so-called ghost cars, illegal rides using phony paper license plates. And why we're doing this, it allows our officers to stay safe, stay safe, limit pursuits, and let the GPS do its job. So who pays for all this stuff? Well, police say 750 grand for two dogs comes from forfeiture money, additional funds from the capital budget. The mayor took a bite at reporters asking specific money questions. This is an investment in our public safety. The new recruits start popping up this summer. In Times Square, Gus Rosendale, News 4 New York. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.